Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another episode of my makeup collection video series. Today I'm going to be showing you all of the bronzers in my collection. I will not be including bronzers that I keep in face palettes or in like other palettes. These are only single bronzers and I'll be showing you all my powder and cream bronzers that I own and telling you a bit about each of them. So I'll get straight into it. This is the first bronzer I've just like randomly picked up. This is no particular order. And this is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder and this is in the shade 02 Sunny. It's meant for darker skin and they say that it's meant for brunettes. Um, I am a brunette but um, I don't think that this is a darker skin bronzer. This is like a light medium skin bronzer. Um, it has a really nice tropical coconut scent and it's a very warm toned bronzer but not too warm toned that it looks like orangey on the face. Um, just a really large, big, nice bronzer. This is vegan, made in Italy, and this product has, I'm trying to find out how many grams it is, 15 grams. So it's a huge amount of product in here. Um, it has a really nice, like, I'm not sure if you can see, but that little pattern on the um, pressed powder. Um, it's a really gorgeous bronzer, very affordable. I think this is $7 here in Australia, and it's just a bronzer that's affordable that I love. So yeah, really good Essence um, Sun Club bronzer. It's a really popular one here on YouTube as well. Um, the next bronzer I have to show you guys is one that I actually hit pan on. This is the Urban Decay um, Beach Bronzer. Not many of my bronzers that I'll be showing you here today have pan on them, but this one has a large amount of pan because I've been loving this for a while. It's a really good, like, warm tone bronzer for my skin tone. Um, it does have a really nice, decent sized mirror. This is a really clear mirror to see yourself in. If you're doing your makeup and this was the only mirror you had, I feel like I'd be able to do a, like, okay face in just this mirror. It's a really decent sized mirror. Um, I got the shade Bronzed. This also came in another shade that was slightly more reddish pinky undertones um, that was better for lighter skin, but I picked this shade just because I felt like it was better for my like kind of yellowier undertones. Um, this is also made in Italy. I'm not going to say where all of these are made. I'm just like interested in some of them. Um, and this is 9 grams. So there is a fair bit of product in here. It's a very smooth matte kind of bronzer um, and it's got a nice um, warm undertone. So yeah, love this bronzer and I will definitely be using all of this up. I use all of my products up. Like I don't usually, a lot of these products that I'm showing you here today, here today won't have pan on them because um, usually I use up a product entirely and then crack open another one. So this one is one that I've like almost finished and when I use this up then I'll open one of the ones that I haven't opened yet. So if that makes sense. Um, here's one that I haven't opened and this is why because I'm going through some other ones right now but this is a bourgeois um, bronzing powder um, with glints of sunshine plus highlighter. It's a little duo but I don't think I included it in my palettes video. Um, it just has a bronzer on this side and a highlighter on this side. Um, I haven't tried it yet but I have got the um, bourgeois powder that's got a bronzer just like the whole thing is a bronzer and I keep that at my boyfriend's house so I don't have that to show you guys here today but um, that's a really nice easy to use bronzer. I feel like it's a very light bronzer on my skin tone so I could use it to like give my shape my face shape but I could also use that bronzer all over the face and I feel like it's an easy bronzer to just like almost set my makeup with because it's such like a light bronzer and you can really build it up. It's a very light bronzer and it's not very like intense. It's very buildable, very good for beginners. And so I'm excited to try this one out after I've used up some other bronzers instead. Also, this does have like a coconutty chocolate kind of scent, which is nice. Um, the next bronzer I have is another drugstore one and this is the Maybelline City Bronzer. I love this bronzer. Um, I bought the shade Medium Cool 200 and how many grams is this? Um, this is eight grams and it's just a really good kind of neutral cool tone bronzer. It smells, okay, it has a really specific smell to me. It smells to me like the Batiste um, Brunette Dry Shampoo, but not in a bad way. I really like it. It's just like, it smells exactly like that dry shampoo to me. It's really good on my skin tone. It's not too warm. So if I'm going for a more like chiseled look, this can be really good. It's very smooth on the skin, um, buildable. And I just love this bronzer. I have a huge dent in the pan. You probably won't be able to see it, but um, I'm expecting to hit pan on this soon because I'm loving this bronzer so much. Um, Let's go for a high-end bronzer. This is one that I haven't started using just because I recently-ish, like last year, panned another one of these. This is NARS Laguna bronzer, which is a classic. This is in the old packaging just because I kind of like the old packaging more. I don't know, it's very satisfying to me. Um, but this is just a really classic mid-tone, probably almost cool tone bronzer. It just looks like that. Um, this is a new one because I panned my old one. Um, and this has how many grams? This has eight grams. Um, and it's just a really classic bronzer that everyone has. With the NARS packaging, I really like it. It's very satisfying, but over time, this rubber, like, kind of deteriorates. The, like, rubberized, soft matte finish kind of deteriorates, and as it ages, it becomes sticky and kind of disgusting. So I'm, not, like, really happy with this bronzer while it's still nice, but when the packaging starts to deteriorate and degrade, it's going to get a bit yucky. But, yeah, it's a really good um, kind of, like, neutral tone bronzer. It's not too cool tone for me that I find it uncomfortable, but it's not my favourite just because I do typically reach for 
a more mid to warm tone bronzer. Um, it's not too cool toned though. Like this is definitely still wearable and it's definitely still one that I find really shapes the face nicely. Not um, as loose. It's like a bit more pigmented than some of my other bronzers. It is a very nice one. Um, the next one is another drugstore one. This is the L'Oreal Wild Bronze Glow in La Terra. What is the shade La Terra? No, the shade is 01 Light Bronze. So this is, I'm assuming, the lightest shade they have. It just looks like this. It has like a kind of like a reptilian kind of scaly design through the pressed pan there. And this smells to me like argan oil. It's really like oily kind of scent. Not in a gross way. That sounds gross. It smells like essential oils. Um, it's kind of a warmer tone bronzer. I feel like it really has a lot of like, it looks creamy on the skin. It looks very skin like on the skin. Obviously most of these do, but yeah, really like this bronzer. It's a really nice one. It's quite affordable. Um, L'Oreal isn't as affordable here in Australia compared to some of the other drugstore um, brands, but is still cheaper than like, you know, NARS or another high end brand. So yeah, it is more on the affordable side. This has a huge amount of product in it. How many grams is this? This is 18 grams of product. Like this is a huge bronzer. This is going to take me ages to hit pan, but I'm happy about it because it's a really nice shade. Um, just a gorgeous warm tone bronzer. Um, without being too warm, it's like not orange or anything. Um, another warm tone bronzer is the MAC uh, Gimme Sun. I heard everybody raving about this here on YouTube, um, especially Desi Perkins. And so I decided to try it out for myself. It just looks like this. It does have a mirror in the compact there. Um, and it used to be a huge dome, but I've used this a lot. So it's kind of like become flat. It's just a really easy to use warm tone bronzer. It's a mineralized skin finish formula. So it's very, um, like, I don't know, just like glowy and natural on the skin. Um, it's a mineralized skin finish natural. So yeah. 10 grams in there and I love this so much. Definitely one of my favorite bronzers, probably of all time. Another one that's one of my favorite bronzers of all time is definitely the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is actually the bronzer that I'm wearing today um, and I can still smell it on my face. Like if I touch my face, I swear I can still smell the scent. This smells amazing. The Butter Bronzer scent is gorgeous. It's, well, everyone already knows what it smells like. I'm just obsessed with it. It has a mirror on the inside underneath here and this useless sponge Maybe it isn't useless, but I've never used it and I don't know how to use it. If you know how to use it, let me know because I don't know why they include this. Um, who applies their bronzer with a sponge? Not me. Maybe you do. Tell me how you do it because I don't know. Um, I love the little um, ripples of like the sandy design through the packaging. I'm going to be sad when that um, gets worn away, but I've been loving this bronzer so much. It's not as intense as some of my other bronzers. It's kind of one of those ones where it's a bit lighter on my skin tone to the point that I could almost set parts of my face with this. Um, it's a very nice neutral tone bronzer. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's just like the perfect bronze. It looks really good on my skin tone at the moment, but I think it's going to look even better in the winter time just because I typically reach for like some of my darker bronzers in the summertime, some of my warmer bronzers. Um, so this is one that's a little bit more neutral to cooler. Not cool. It's just a bit more neutral. Um, and since it isn't as warm and it isn't as dark, it'll probably look better on me in the winter time. They do have other shades. I picked up the shade um, bronzer in this, like the original first shade, um, but I could probably pull off like a shade darker of this as well. I just got the shade bronzer because it was the classic and it was one that I felt like would suit my skin tone and I feel like it definitely does and it will in the winter. Um, another bronzer that I haven't tried yet is this one. This is from The Body Shop. I picked this up from their um, honey range. It's like the um, honey bronzer. It's in the shade medium matte 03 and there's 11 grams of product in there. I haven't touched this yet because I'm saving this for winter. As you can see, is not that much darker than my skin tone at the moment just because it's summertime and so I've been waiting for winter to start getting use out of this. I really like the hexagonal like B kind of design in the pan there. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try this one out in the winter time. It's just a little bit too pale for me at the moment so that's why I haven't tried it out yet. But um, I heard this is getting discontinued which is really sad because this is a YouTube classic in my opinion. I remember watching Estee Lalonde here on YouTube back when she was Essie Button and she was going on about this bronzer and so I had to try it out for myself. I haven't tried it out yet because obviously it's too light for me at the moment. They didn't have um, any dark ones at the store when I visited, um, which was kind of sad, but um, they did have like a couple of shades. They just were sold out because I think it's been discontinued, but excited to try that one out. Um, another one that I haven't tried out yet, but I'm excited to is the Fenty Beauty Private Island um, Sunstalker Bronzer. And I love the packaging of this. Like the shine is amazing. It's like this copper kind of golden rose gold packaging. Um, and it just has the mirror on the inside. Um, I keep these on things that I haven't used a lot of the time. And then it has this gorgeous Fenty Beauty embossing in the pan. And the reason I haven't used this is because I'm still 
looking at this bronzer. I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, but sometimes I just look at things for a bit before I use them. Don't worry, I will definitely crack into this bronzer at one point and just use it. I've seen comments on some of my other videos saying like, just use it. Don't worry, I do use my products, obviously. Um, if you watch any of my product pans, you know, I do pan my products. I do hit pan on my products and then I clean them out entirely. Sometimes it just takes me a little bit of time before I do crack into the product, however, just because I like to admire my products sometimes. So yeah, this is a really pretty looking pan to me. I just think it looks really nice with the Fenty Beauty logo. Um, and so I'm just excited to try it out eventually, but I'm still looking at it. So I haven't tried it out yet. I got the shade Private Island and I feel like it'll be best for me probably when I'm tan or like in the summertime, but yeah, Fenty Beauty bronzer. Um, another bronzer that is a cream. I haven't shown you any cream products yet. This is a cream bronzer that I love. This is a Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. I've used other Hoola products in the past. I tried the um, original Hoola formula. I haven't tried any of the like variations on the Hoola bronzer, like the Hoola Light or the Hoola Toasted. Um, I have also tried the Judah Hoola, which is like a liquid version of the Hoola. And I wish they like didn't discontinue that because I did think that was a really nice like formula product. I think it worked really well mixed in with foundation as well. Um, it didn't give like too much darkness. It was a really nice tone of liquid bronzer, but they still had the quickie contour stick in stock when I went to, um, Ma uh, Maya, which is a store here in Australia where you can like, it's like a department store. And so this is what it looks like. And I just feel like this is such a smooth bronzer on the skin. It's really easy just to like draw some lines on your face, chisels the face, looks so beautiful and natural. And I'm just obsessed with it. It doesn't have any like smell or anything it's really fresh um just a really nice shade i love this so much i might even like this more than the powder version of hula like this might be better than the powder version of hula in my opinion i just feel like the shade of this is like a little bit warmer which like kind of is something that i prefer a little bit more um yeah really love this product so much um i hope they don't discontinue it because it's one of my faves um, another product that I have been loving more than I expected to was this Milani, um, Silky Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade 02 Sunkissed and there are 9.5 grams of product in here. I don't know why this packaging is so bulky. Like that is pretty bulky packaging, but inside it just has this kind of like sundial design on the press pan and it has a scent that I didn't expect it to have. It's called, um, a tropical coconut scent. I definitely agree that this is blendable and streak free. It's just a really nice kind of cooler tone bronzer for me. Um, I like to use this in conjunction with a warmer tone bronzer as well, just so that I can kind of chisel and contour the face a little bit with this bronzer, just loosely, lightly, not really like sculpting, sculpting, just like giving a little bit more like shape and then going over with like a warmer tone bronzer just to give warmth to the face. So yeah, I really love combining this bronzer with other bronzers or just leaving it by itself. I feel like this in winter time, especially is going to be a really flattering shade on me. Um, I'm really pleased that I got this shade. This is like, um, this shade number two is just beautiful. It's sun kissed. Um, it's matte for sure. It's like, um, it doesn't have like sheen or anything through it. And it's just a wonderful bronzer. It's very smooth on the skin. Totally one that I wasn't suspecting to love as much as I do. Um, but this has definitely become a new favorite of mine. Um, and the last bronzer I think I have to show you guys here today is one that I also haven't tried out yet. I'm sorry. It's cause I'm saving it and you'll see why. This is the L'Oreal. This is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. Um, cream bronzer. It just looks like this. And this is a cold classic that has now been discontinued. This is in the shade Bronze Universal. And it's a bronzing makeup base that you can wear underneath your makeup. And it just looks so beautiful. And this is now discontinued. It's now been upgraded into the Le Beiges range. And they've updated the formula. So I haven't touched this yet because it's the old original like um, cold classic um, Holy Grail formula. And it just looks so beautiful as that nice swirl in the packaging. And it was so expensive. It's Chanel. This is the only piece of Chanel makeup that I have purchased for myself. And I'm going to save it to try it out on a special occasion because it looks so gorgeous to me and I'm really excited about it and I'm just busy admiring it still. Don't worry, I will definitely use this at one point. I'm just waiting for a special occasion. Um, maybe tomorrow will be the special occasion. I don't know. But when the mood strikes, I have this and I'm really, really excited about it. I was really stoked to be able to hunt this down because it was discontinued and I was devastated when it was discontinued. And then I was lucky enough to find like one of the last remaining stock on David Jones, which is another department store's um, online website. So yeah, that is the last bronzer I have to show you guys today. Behind me, that is all of the bronzers in my collection that are in singles. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment anything you would like to see from me in future down below. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. There are a load of very similar or not similar videos up on my channel if you'd like to see any other content from me. Otherwise, let me know what else you would like to see. And hopefully I'll see you in a future video soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!